What is up everybody, it's your boy Roll here. So in today's video, we are at my locals Koala Gaming for another Yu-Gi-Oh tournament. Um, it's Tuesday. Tuesdays are usually been crowded, so I'm probably expecting like a 20 man tournament. And the whole goal today is just to try to um, win. I haven't won at locals in forever. Um, yeah, I saw last week's episode, I was just pretty much doing a um, toxic version, well Sunday's episode rather, a toxic version of Heroes that was specifically go first, however, I, while I did like it, I felt like I could do better. So I'm back to my go second build. And what I'm doing for my go second build is pretty much the build I took the regionals with the changes that I thought I needed to make after regionals. So I took out the Ash Blossoms, added the Drone and Lock Birds, and I'm going to see what happens, man. Um, my side deck's still going to be toxic, though. So um, still debating on if I want to fit the Mystic Mine in. I don't have Metaverse on me. My boy Zach, what's up? but everything so i don't have the metaverse on me um however i could side in mystic mind going to game two and three specifically just to stall the opponent out and win with trinity so um citing the rivalries i'm citing the solemn judgments like, like i said man we just prepping for nationals at this point man so a little tired my energy low so yeah man with all the being said let's get into it without further ado let's begin all right, guys, I'm going to around one of the tournament players, my boy Alejandro and his Despia deck. This is his first time with the deck, and he actually drew pretty good. He was still learning some of the combos, and my hand game was completely crap. I literally had all spells, so I just set a droplet pass. And, of course, he popped off a Mirror Jade. I did open up Lightning Storm. However, it was just kind of one of them hands where it was like, bruh, I have all counter cards with nothing else to stop it. So, couldn't do anything in game one because he just had too much powerful plays. Come to the game too, I sided. Just my like the side block combo and everything. I decided to go first, open up Stratos with four spells, and that was it. So all I had to do was number some Stratos, search out a Vion, set two pass. I had to drop it again to negate his um death his one dude, the Alibur. However, he had the branded fusion and started to pop off. So yeah, man, I just kinda brick both games. It rare I rarely brick with this deck, but when it happens, it happens. So I'm going to catch you guys on the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Round one of the right brick both games. Yeppy me. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, we got two packs. Um, I'm about to open these up, see what happens, and see what I got. Oh, those games are terrible. I think game one I opened um, just all spells. I opened up literally a Dusty Go, Dark Calling, Lightning Storm, Mass Change, and freaking... Um, and freaking um, droplet. In game two, Stratos, double mass change, droplet. I'm just like, what the hell is this, bro? Like, my deck just, I don't know what, it, I don't even know what happened. Like, I'm trying to be positive, but that's so annoying. Hey, I got, got Chalice, that's pretty cool. Oh, man. I hate when you power shuffle and just draw crap. And I open up crap as well. Can't complain, though, because I open up all team on Friday, but yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> It's just so stupid. Like, you draw good with the same list all day at, like, a big event. You come to a locals and you just draw crap. What did you pull? Nothing? Yeah. He smacked me with those Despias. But anyway, man, my boy Warren. Are you holding it down, Warren? You won? Not yet? The game too? Okay. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. I'm around two of the tournament playing with my boy um, Brian Scrooter. Who's yu gi oh Check his channel out when you guys have some time. And he uses Virtual World. And in game one, he started to pop off. His hand didn't seem that great. However, I had a pretty solid hand. I started popping off and everything. And it was GG no re. He just scooped up immediately. Going into game two, um, I think I just kept in my draws. Because I, I main deck draws in this tournament. However, I didn't draw it now once. I don't know because I'm playing rare draws. And I know if you play the Florida ones, you probably draw more. However, yeah, I, I barely drew draw all day. And so game two, he started to pop off more. And I had like probably lightning somewhere here. I kind of forgot what my hand was. This was recorded on Tuesday. And like I said, he just started setting up his field. I did have Hero Lives and the Stratos. I had to drop it. I was trying to bait his negation and he was taking his time. A lot of people just don't really know what to hit. So the fact that he did let, let out a resolve, I kind of baited um, his secondary negation, which led me into my DP play. However, DP was not enough in game two. Because I did burn through a lot of resources trying to go through DP. Because I did have a droplet, however. Sometimes with forbidden droplet, if you get a radio whole hand, you're kind of in a sticky situation. So I ended up winning game two because while I had DP, it just wasn't enough to stop the onslaught of things he was doing. So coming to game three, um, I had was able to make Dark Law and set two pass. However, 
he had only one um, play with the virtual world, but if he had two virtual monsters, he could have came back and won. And then Dark Lord did snipe his search off the um, his search he did, so that helped as well. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, round two is over. Ended up playing against my boy Brian, oh. aka Screw the Rules Yu Gi Oh! He hasn't uploaded in forever. He's gonna upload eventually. Um, yeah, I beat Virtual World. Yeah, Dark Law put in work game three. It was a pretty good game. Just he needed another Virtual World monster to pop off, and he didn't. Yeah, <laughs> he just needed one more to pop off. He would have been good because it was a situation where I just had Dark Law on the field and he pops it with the trap, but that was pretty much it. That's all he could do, and yeah. So yeah, that should be three more rounds up considering the amount of people in here because it's pretty crowded. And then, so far, <laughs> so far my deck is kind of drawing not as good as it did at regionals, which is so annoying because like, I hate when I go to a big event and draw good and then go to locals and draw kind of terrible, but we're going to play with it anyway, you feel me? And yeah, we're just having fun. Um, these dudes over here playing Cyber Dragon versus whatever. But yeah, man, I'm going to catch you guys at the next club, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, coming to round three, the tournament ended up playing against Pendulums, and it was a pretty interesting game, to say the least. I have played against the deck in forever, so I kind of forgot all the plays that they can make. But I did learn really quick that this deck can play Scythe Lock, and in my opinion, any deck that can comfortably play Scythe Lock consistently is a solid deck, which is the reason why I don't understand why Konami hasn't, like, banned Scythe or keep printing cards that allow you to abuse Scythe. Like, they, they, there has to be some form of R&D where they play test these type of stuff, right? So he made Dagda, he made the Baron. And you guys already know Baron can um, pop stuff and revive stuff. And luckily for me, I did have to Droplet for the Scythe, but I shouldn't have to have Droplet to stop my turn from getting shut off. So luckily for me, I had Droplet, and I'm just gonna go into a Trinity OTK, which is gonna win me game one. Come to game two, I thought he was gonna um, make me go, he was gonna go first to try to Scythe lock me again. He actually played a Smart and made me go first, so. Typically, I would have sided in the Dark Angel Lock. I debated on siding in. However, I'm like, nah, he gonna go first. But nope, he actually played a smart, made me go first. So all I did was just sit on DP, Sunriser. I believe I did have a mass change. However, I was a little tired. I overthought my plays. And instead of making Shining, I should have made the um, Escarito. So that way I could have made Dark Law DP and I would have had a better um, feel. But like I said, I messed up. It is what it is. Because what I wanted to do is um, make shiny to recycle back my stuff, but I, I could have made deep and, to, and I could poly off DP with shiny. I should have used poly, got rid of my um, sunriser because I think DP dark law would have been a stronger field than DP um, shiny. Shining is good, however, like super easy to play around and it's really this an OTK enabler and it, it just helps you search out miracle, right? So I did have the um. Mystic Mind and this side of the end. It got negated. I don't know how I feel about Mystic Mind. Like, it's toxic, but I feel like it needs a deck dedicated to it to um, make it work. I even drove them, but still ended up losing game too because Mystic Mind and Drolled. Once a deck starts going, it's like, yeah. Like, I'm kind of really starting not to like Droll like that. Like, I like it. Because at regionals, it have been lit, but at locals, it's kind of like, meh. I'm not like going back to like a standard version of Hero. So, I went first game three. I'm going to Dark Angel Lock coming. That's pretty much going to wrap up the game. He don't play any Link 1s, and that helped me a lot. So, yeah, man, I'm going to catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, round three is over. Ended up beating, um, ooh, Pendulums. That deck is good. <laughs> I haven't played against Pendulums forever. That deck literally, um, game one, he just popped off. I think he got it. Game two, no, game one, I got it. Game two, he got it. And game three... Ended up getting it because of um, Dark Angel Lock, so good. So, I know my boy Warren is undefeated. How you feeling, Warren? Feeling great. Feeling great. We're undefeated right now. We just nice, played nice. against Chaos Thunder. Thunder's over. My opponent, he got a tweet, though. He forgot about the early uh, thing. He kind of wasn't uh, too much aware about the whole main play. But he said, he, what he kind of messed up was, like, he was like, oh, crap. He, when he asked his call me, call me, I had told him, like, yeah, that's, yeah. Like, um, when he tried to ask his call me, he tried to uh, pop my um, malicious vein, I was like, this is Bane game. I was like, oh, can be Bane game. Can be Shrubber right. Battle. Yeah, so Warren undefeated with heroes. This guy's undefeated with zombies. Right, zombies, right? Hell yeah. Gold man forever. Gang, zombie gang. Zombie gang. <laughs> right? So, man, we just having fun, man. Um, so, yeah, man. Two more rounds left. We'll catch you guys in the next clip. Y'all stay tuned. All 
All right, guys, went to round four. This remainder I'm playing against a Volk, Dalmatica, and Shadows. And that, this is the deck, once again, I haven't played against this deck forever. And he actually won the die roll, which I didn't care if I was going second anyway. He ended on pretty much Mechable Pass, so I guess his hand went that great. I, no, actually, no. I did roll him. He said it didn't slow him down. I don't know if it did or it didn't. He had the Imperm. He had the Mechable. I did have the um, Droplet to negate the Mechable. I didn't have a, I couldn't OTK him, but I did make Dark Law. And I did snipe his... um. Al Alistair Search, which hurt him a lot, because if it wasn't for that, he, he would have got rid of Dark Law and just popped off. So I'm just gonna pop it right now, make Sunriser, attack with three, and that's gonna be GG No Re. Coming to game two, I believe he's gonna set up his field. I think he's gonna end on like Winda and some stuff. And my hands were like decent, but they weren't that great. Cause I'm, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out the best build of heroes. And now I'm starting to lean, just let you guys know this part in the video, I'm starting to lean more towards like a standard view i mean even they might even add an e-call just for more consistency and just siding and stuff so game two he just won because he pretty much played secret village locked me out of my spells and it was over like <laughs> like you get secret village there's nothing you could do you just got to accept that scoop so game three coming into place um he's popping off right i'm popping off right now i'm i thought about making dark angel i did side him and I'm, i realized that would have been dumb because that deck plays a lot of link ones so I just ended on DP, Dark Law, and that was enough to um, save me. So I'm going to catch you guys on the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys. Round uh, four is over. Ended up beating um, Invoke. Shout out to Automatica Stalls. Game three. I just literally had Dark Law, DP, Sunriser. Set D barrier. Like, it was lit. Um, I was going to decide it in Dark Angel, but I realized that was stupid because his deck runs a lot of Link 1s. So I didn't pass the Dark Angel play and just said, screw it, and I just went for the um, standard multi-monster field play if he asked Nibiru. I still was going to survive off D-Barrier, and I had Mystic Mind in the deck just to stall him out just in case. Um, game two, I lost because he just freaking secret village of the spellcast is what can you do, right? So I think there's either one more round left, or this might be the final round. We're going to see. Um, it's getting late. It's like, what, almost 10 o'clock right now? So I'll catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. All right, guys, coming to the final round of the tournament, I ended up playing against Dinos. Now, this is definitely a deck I wasn't prepared for at all. Like, today, like, I don't know. I kind of see why a lot of pro players in the Yu-Gi-Oh! right now kind of hate the format. I don't hate the format, and I'm not complaining about the format. However, there are so many good decks right now, it's kind of hard to play because literally all the decks I played against today are solidly good decks. I can focus on Dolls, Dinos, etc. So, I went game one, popped off. He did... Dino, Kai, he did Kaiju over my play, and but it didn't matter. I ended up winning game one because of it. However, in game two, I almost won, right? And this is in the game two, I realized, like, okay, I need Plasma back in my deck because I did um, TTT him. I got rid of his Regaki, and I was going for the Dark Angel play. And Dark Angel's a good card. Don't get it twisted, right? However, I, for, I, I forgot Dino play Link once. Like, I... I'm like, do Dino play Link 1? I, like I said, I haven't played against Dino since Regionals, and the guy didn't go into any Link 1, so I'm just like, okay. No, but, you know, for what it's worth, I'm like, okay, I made Dark Angel. I thought it was game. He's like, nope, Link this off to Link Spider, and just he started popping off his play. He's going to lead into an OZK. However, if I would have had freaking um, Plasma, I could have had DP Plasma, and he would have been screwed unless he top decked Regeki, which he didn't do. And, yeah, man, I'm going to lose because simply, like, he played his dude. Kaiju over my DP and it was GG No Re. And yeah, Dino's like really, cause like there's multiple different versions. There's Dino's versions that can OTK and there's ones that can field lock. The one I played at Regional was more of a field locking build and the one my opponent used an OTK build. Now I tweaked in game three. I sided all my go second cards, but for whatever reason, I said I was going first. I don't know why I did that. Like I said, it was like 10.30 at this point or 10 or something. And he popped off and my next card, I top deck was um, Lightning Storm, so it was GG No Re. And I even asked him, like, hold on, did I go first or did you go first? And he was like, you went first. I'm like, I tweet, bro. I'm like, yeah, I got to stop playing Yu-Gi-Oh! type. But there ain't no excuse. I lost. It is what it is. So, yeah, man, I went X2 in a five-round tournament. It is what it is, man. I get, I, I do better next time. All right, guys. Flare on five is over. I ended up losing against Dinosaurs. I, I tweet, bro. I completely freaking tweet. So, game one, I got it. Game two, uh, well, so I started in Dark Angels because I didn't know if it was playing Link Rubo. Apparently, Dinosaurs play Link Rubo, so... Yeah, he linked Rebo, Dark Angel, GG. I had a lit hand. I TTT'd his hand trap. It was good, but like, no, I TTT'd his Regeki, but yeah, that happens. So yeah, he had Link Rebo out at that and just popped off. Game three, my stupid self. 
I literally decided to go second. My hand was kind of bad anyway. I opened up like no hand traps. It was like poly. So even if I would have went second, depending on his hand, I probably would have lost anyway. But like, I literally went full combo um, into Sunriser, and I had Dark Law. He normal summoned this one dude, searched out the dinosaur kaiju, kaiju my dark law. I'm like, great, that sucks. And then popped off to this OTK. I mean, like that deck, he's playing a heavy OTK build, which is why I wanted him to go first, but I tweaked. Literally, like it's like 1040, I'm tired. So yeah. Ain't no excuse though. I got smacked. It is what it is. We'll do better next time. I can't top a locust to save my life, bro. It's so annoying. But yeah, man. Um, catch you guys when I get home to the closing statements. Ain't much much more to say. Um, I had a fun tournament, you know, it's five rounds. Um, just yeah. Got destroyed round one because I bricked and then I lost against freaking dinosaurs because I rarely play against that matchup and they have that main deck outs. So I'm gonna catch you guys in the next clip, man. Y'all stay tuned. So even though I scrubbed, my boy Warren is still at table one with heroes. My boy Brandon uses Eldritch. He's gonna be, oh, my bad. Excuse me, jo jo Mr. Jojo. So y'all table one? Oh, okay. Oh, y'all table one, my bad. This dude's too fat and too lazy to move out the seat. What happened? I didn't know. My bad. <laughs> who got it? Who got it? Oh, good. See, Warren, you better than me, man. Good job. Good job. <laughs> All right, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Locals was intense. Um, like I said, a five iron event. I lost breaking and I lost to literally tweaking in the last round. Letting my opponent go first, knowing damn well I decided to go second. Nevertheless, though, uh, I think I know what I'm going to do with my deck. I'm going to go back to a consistency build of heroes. And I mean, my consistency is because the format is so goofy. There are so many different decks right now. I think for the format, the side deck is the most important thing to focus on. And I think the main deck for everyone's decks should rely on consistency and seeing who can um, set up the strongest board turn one and be able to break boards going turn two. Kind of like my build, how my build was prior to um, the release of the Albast structure there because when the Albast structure that came out, everyone was predicting the format was going to be Despia or Bust, and for a while it was, which is why the Dark Angel came in a favor. However, I think we're in a space where there's like 20 solid good decks to play, 10 other good decks to play as well. That's like a little on the lower tier. So it's best to build your decks for consistency more than anything. So I'm gonna focus on that for my next um, locals vlog. Tell me what you guys think about this vlog in the comment section down below. Like the video if you're new here. If you guys wanna subscribe for more, subscribe for more. Um, 500 likes or two super thanks is always the video goal. All right, man. Well, I ain't got very much to say. Like I said, the video wasn't that long. Like what, 17 minutes now? So anyway, man, a little tired of Sunday. I get this video done. It's your boy Rogue Hero bringing you guys another Yu-Gi-Oh! vlog. And I'm signing out, man. Peace and stay innovative. Deuces. You guys have a great rest of your day.